to Aussie LEGO Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the 8036 Separatist Shuttle, which was released in 2009, contains 5 minifigures, 259 pieces, and on eBay it's around $80 to $100 sealed in the box, and around $15 to $60 used. Uh, the set revolves around the Clone Wars, uh, and Nick Gumray is trying to recruit the Rhodium Senator Anna Kananda, I think his name is, to join the Separatists, a Separatist Alliance, whether he likes it or not. Before we look into the ship, I will first preview the minifigures. First off for the minifigures, we have got Vice Roy Newt Gumray of the Trade Federation. Um, doesn't have a dual expression, so you can have a look. Uh, no back printing, plain red legs, and a pretty plain torso printing. The, the most unique things about him is probably his crown or hat, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and his face printing is a really good representation of an emodium. Second off for minifigures, we have the Rhodian Senator, Arna Kananda. Uh, we'll just turn him around. He's got no arm printing, no back printing, basic sand green legs, um, and a basic torso printing as well. Um, but the one thing that's cool about him is his head, which they probably adopted from Greedo. Um, my one problem with him is that he's probably a little bit too green, but his eyes are pretty bold. I like the colour of that. And yeah, that sums up Arna Kananda. Next up, we have a just a generic battle droid uh, with the new arms. There's not really much to say about him. Same as all head, body, arms and legs, comes with a blaster. There's two in the set. Now lastly we have a pilot droid with a, with a not updated body printing, seeing as it is 2009. We've just got plain blue and uh, two of the old arms, as you can see. Same head and same legs to the other battle droids. And yeah, that sums it up for minifigures. Now that we're done with the minifigures, I'll be having a look at the ship's design, looks and playability features. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, uh, the way that Newcomer arrives, he sits in the back of the Trade Federation shuttle and it has some sliding doors. Only one minifigure will fit in there, um, as you can see. Now if we move it to the front, we have the cockpit, which actually folds open, which can fit one pilot droid. Uh, Noah at the back because the roof is in the way. Uh, this antenna actually goes inside the, the wing in there. And one more feature, that leaves up. Uh, the landing gear can actually curl up. I'll make a cut. So now I've curled up all the landing gear, you can simulate it in flight mode, which is a cool thing for playability. Um, one thing about the design is that I think it is really accurate to both the movies and the Clone Wars series. Um, they really did a good job of these stickers, but I reckon what would be better if it was printed pieces. I reckon it would be a lot more realistic. A little bit bulky on the bottom. But, uh, I reckon it's fine. And that sums up the ship. Now that I've finished reviewing the shuttle, we can have a look at the actual instructions. On the front page, it shows the Separatist shuttle flying away from whatever planet that is. And if we flip this to the other side, it's the old style instructions with the police truck, the AAT, this bionicle thing flip to the inside of the pages and it shows some of the sets from the year. We have the Hoth defense thing. We have the Corporate Alliance tank droid, the Clone Wars Y-Wing, Battle of Endor, and the Venator class Star Destroyer. Now at the end of the review, I'd like to ask myself if the set is worth the money. Um, not really. If you're going to be paying $80 to $100 dollars 
sealed in the box for. A set with five minifigures, two of which are just generic battle droids and one is a blue pilot droid. So the only two unique characters to this are Owner Commander and Newt Gumray. Uh, I think that's a bit pricey and personally I don't think I would get that for $80 to $100. Um, maybe used from $15 to $60 used Australian. Um, but again, expect what you'd expect if you buy a used set. For playability, I don't think so. There's not much playability, but for display, I reckon it would look reasonably good on a shelf. Um, and yeah, that ends up the review. If you'd like to see more reviews, please like the video and subscribe. It helps out me and the channel. Um, and I will see you in the next video.